Aruba Second International Film Festival with your host Yanta Lu and special guests Kim Cattrall, 50 Cent and many more. Mr. Curtis Jackson had a rather difficult childhood. He went on the wrong path early on in life, reason being his family was struggling financially, so they had very little. And the people surrounding him who had money or jewelry were the ones in the wrong path. He strived to succeed within the music industry when his son came along. I, I got in trouble early on. My ambition makes me want to have things and live life on the highest level, so I took, because at, at a, a a young age, when I actually wouldn't be responsible for my actions because I'm a minor, I already took off into the wrong direction instead. Just looking around, when having my grandparents' representation of working class and having them have nine children, there was nothing there. Like, so the people that appeared to have things were all people that were going in the wrong direction. You saw them with jewelry, cars, and money that they could throw away at different points. So, my, me wanting to live comfortably, I went in that actual direction early on. And then later, it wasn't until my son came to my life. Because as he came out, I was responsible for more than my life at that point. And I had to figure out how to do something else that was more stable. When I started writing music full time in 97. He encourages adolescents to find a passion of theirs and consume their time with it so they stay out of trouble. 50 Cent is a strong believer in following your dreams. I don't think people are, are successful by accident. I think if, if they develop a passion early enough, they can actually do it. Like, I don't think Floyd Mayweather Jr. is... I think he's a reflection of his dad, who was a championship fighter, and his Uncle Roger was a championship fighter. I think the Mannings are an accident, having three NFL Super Bowl quarterback games. I think Venus and Serena are an accident, having, you know, having them play and their father had a passion for the sport before them. And then when, when they're offered these things early on, I think we have capabilities to do all kinds of things if we develop early enough to go and do it, you know, or have a strong enough passion to focus on it hard enough to catch up. If you may recall, Ms. Kim Cattrall advised aspiring filmmakers and actors to strive for a different career path because from her experience, the chances of one making it is slim to none. However, you know, Mr. Jackson so, has a completely different a opinion. I don't think it's impossible. Anybody that tells you it's impossible is having a hard time. She was having, <laughs> she was having a rough week, then, and, and Kim just says something crazy. But that that was, you know, you can make it. It's not impossible. And in this day and time, you got you know people who have a stronger celebrity without a skill set. You know, we got reality television where you know it's not even necessary for you to actually be able to sing and dance or memorize a line and, and perform as an actress. 50 Cent reveals yeah, he didn't anticipate the second I edition of AIFF to be, to be as big diet, of a turnout diet, as it was. You know, like. Now, this film festival is a baby. It's two years old. Uh, second edition. We've had Richard Gere, Patricia Clarkson, Kim Cattrall was here on Friday. Mm -hmm. Um, now, there are critics out there because it, it's a small island, right. taxpayers' money, $500,000. As an expert within the field of music and now film, how do you feel this ultimately benefits the island? Well, or if, or if maybe if you are a critic and you don't think it does? No, it does benefit. And I think over time they'll develop a stronger following where people are, are flying in to do it. And obviously it'll help economically because they're bringing money from wherever they're coming from and they utilize the hotel space and restaurants and things like that. And the festival, even, even uh, like, like when the perception of it is as small, like for my actually turn out last night, that is as big as every big festival that I've been to. So it's exciting to, to actually be a part of the festivities and that. And to see, like you said, those critics that uh, if they were there last night, then they won't be critics.